to the extent that when he comes back, when he comes back to Paris at the end of his life, he's lionized as a defender of the poor and the oppressed, isn't he? Absolutely. I, I wondered, Ian, in conclusion, because his life has been so encrusted with, with myth and, uh, and apocrypha, it's sometimes difficult to, to tease the truth apart. What do you think it is about Voltaire that endures? I mean, clearly, some of the works like Candide and the, the Lettres Philosophiques endure, but what is it about his life that gives it some kind of iconic, sort of almost exemplary quality? Well, first of all, he was loathed and detested by the right because he was a skeptic. He, he was not an atheist, although people spread rumors. I mean, the right, the, the, the ultra-right, the, the Catholic Church, they spread rumors that he was uh, an atheist, but he wasn't. He was a deist, and you only have to read his letters from the, the, his early life to his end. Hmm. He believed there must be a God, a good God, but... He didn't believe in the Christian story. Why did they hate him? But he was because he was the first, he was the first international celebrity. And everybody wanted to know what he said and thought because he was so witty. And he wrote so many letters and his letters were always being copied and passed on and quoted. Mm -hmm. Everyone wanted to know, and not just everyone in France, you know, in Prussia, yeah. in Russia, you know, the empress, the emperors, they were, they were, they all wanted to know what Voltaire was about. So he, he was a sort of, a, a sort of an opposition voice. But he, didn't, he wasn't a philosopher in the sense that he didn't have any theories like Rousseau. He was just a voice of tolerance and pluralism. And, and uh, I think that is, well, that's, that in, in, a, in moral terms, I think that is what is, is his legacy. In literary terms, his legacy is, that he invented modern French. And I think that anybody who's at all literate in France has been totally influenced by the way Voltaire writes. And the way he writes is much, much closer to modern day educated French writing than, shall we say, Samuel Johnson is mm. to modern day English writing, where there's a vast gap. But Voltaire sounds and reads so modern and so economical, mm. just brilliant. Ian Davidson, Voltaire, A Life, is out now in hardback. That's all from this podcast from Blackwell Online, but you can find out more about this book and several million others by going to blackwell.co.uk. You'll also find an extensive podcast archive there. Just click on the podcast tab on the home page. I hope you'll join me again soon for another in-depth author interview, and until then, thank you very much for listening. And goodbye.